Good morning, everyone. Janie here, and welcome back to my garden. We are back on the east side. We are back working on those plumbagos. You can see I got one, two, three moved a couple days ago and then had to stop because one, I was exhausted, and two, I was out of time. So it's a couple days later, and we're out here, and I say we, yes, I begged Jason to come out and help me um, just because getting these plumbago out is it's honestly a two person job. It is not a one person job. That day, so you saw the video um, yesterday, I was so sore. My triceps were so sore from trying to tug those plumbago out of the holes and trying to break the roots. It was, it's a tough job. So let me show you guys the three I have over here. This one right here is doing totally fine, happy. I think it's gonna survive. This one is a maybe. This one is looking really bad, not good. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut all the foliage back so it has less to support. The roots have less to support, um, but we'll see how it is. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see I figured out how to get my hose from my backyard over my fence so that I can water. So that's good, I figured that out. But you can see this one right here, it's just not very happy. It is kind of struggling. The It's still alive, it just looks like it needs way more water. So I've been watering it um, and I think that there's just not enough roots to take up enough water. So I think I'm just gonna water it every day um, and, you know, and just watch it. And like I said, cut it way back, I'm gonna do that in just a couple minutes um, so it has less leaves to support over here this one eh, <laughs> it's looking okay not great but this one is very happy this one kind of popped right back up and this is the one that I thought I had gotten enough roots for and I felt I felt pretty confident for that one so that one's good um, past the fairy garden. So we have this one left to do, which I think should be pretty easy because there's not too much stuff around it. The thing I am concerned about is my peony right there. So we have to be really careful about that. I have a mess that I need to clean up. <laughs> and then this one is the one that I'm dreading because I planted all these glads all around it. They're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking about cutting them all. Um, um, or at least cutting the ones that are blooming uh, to use just for cut flowers right now because they're all gonna get trashed anyway when Jason and I come in here and we can try and get this one out. So I think I'll cut all of them. I'm not sure how early you can cut um, glads and that they will still bloom, but I think you can do it pretty early. You know, watching uh, Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, I'm pretty sure she does it pretty early. So I'm gonna do that. You know, I think we're gonna stomp on most of them. Um, um, but that's okay, I gotta get these plumbago moved. All right, let's get going.
Wait, show it to the camera. <laughs> show it, come show the root size. Size of the roots. Okay, that one, that one, that one over here. Show this one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <A> giant. <laughs> All right, so the solution to the plumbago issue being a giant job is it's a two person job, simple as that. So basically what Jason did is he loosened it up and he lifted the, the shrub up and then I went down from underneath with my big pruning shears and cut the roots. And that was, it was so easy. It took 10 minutes each to do it as soon as you had two people. But if you have one person, you you know, you can't hold it and cut the tap roots at the same time. And I showed you guys the size of those roots. They were big. They they were, they were insane. So I got the last two in and they actually look the best out of all of them. So I'm really optimistic on how those will look. So it's still early. We've only been out here for maybe a half an hour. And so I have time to get the espalier in. So let's get started with that. you can't really see it but we've got all the eye hooks in in the spots where I want them and now the last thing we have to do is just add the wire to it so so easy thank you Jason for helping me because it makes it go so much faster All right, two and a half hours later and we are done. We got the last two shrubs moved, we got them all planted in, and we even had time to put up the espalier wiring. So this area right here along the fence, check is done. Actually, you know what, I have to hook up drip. Don't let me forget to hook up drip. <laughs> so almost done, but I am so happy. I am so thankful that Jason came out to help me because it really was a two person job uh, with all those roots. Those roots had to be cut. Unfortunately, I was trying to save them as much as I could, but they were just so big and they went so deep into the ground there is no way I could have dug them up without cutting some of the roots. So I'm glad I did that. I think that they're all going to be okay. This one right here is the one that's suffering the most, but I cut it way back. So it barely has anything to support at this point. And that one also had the most um, stems coming off. Like it had the most foliage to support. So I have a feeling that's why it's that's the one that's suffering the most. So I'll just kind of keep cutting it back until the roots develop in the area. And I put tons of sure start in and have watered it and I will kind of baby it for the next couple of weeks. So let me give you guys a closer look at what we did. All right, so I put one, two, three, I put those guys in a couple days ago, and then Jason helped me move these last two, which are much happier. Um, I don't think that they were manhandled as much as I had to manhandle the other three. So I think these guys will do a lot better. And then we put up the espalier wire. And again, um, I do have a video showing how I did this more in depth, but basically we just drilled pilot holes and then stuck these eye holes or screwed these eye holes, eye hooks in 
in to the fence and then just hook this wire around it. Um, and then I just twisted the wire. You guys see that? Just twisted the wire around it. And that is enough to hold it, to hold the espalier. So I am just planning to train the plumbago as it grows. I'm just going to plan to train it. I do not think it's going to be as clean of an espalier as I normally do, but I think it will still um, give it something to climb up. And then every once in a while, I'll come out here and I'll prune everything back. And again, I am not expecting this plumbago to bloom very well. One, because I already cut off all the blooms for this season. So it's not gonna bloom at all this season. Um, and then two, you can see it gets filtered sun all day and plumbago usually like, um, full sun for it to bloom, but it, it says it will survive in more shade. It just will get a little bit leggier and not bloom as well. So I am totally fine with both of those things because I think it will be very pretty, which is greenery coming up in the diamonds. And it really gives this area some purpose. Like instead of just being a mishmash of shrubs and whatever the previous landscapers who worked on this yard before we moved in, they kind of just threw random stuff back here. Um, I feel like that this is giving it some purpose and giving it, making this space look like we're actually paying attention to it, which is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, so I'm really happy with the progress. It took two days, but that is okay. I'm fine with that because it's done. I just have to put in the irrigation, reminding myself. And I think the next step for this oak tree garden bed is going shopping. I, I think that's the next step, which is the most fun part, right? All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this two-part transplanting the plumbago project. <laughs> I hope that all my projects in this bed aren't gonna need to be two parts. I hope they'll be a little bit easier and I think they will. I kind of had a feeling this transplanting project was gonna be a beast. I just didn't realize how much of a beast it was. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.